The Marvels already has the record for the most disliked trailer on YouTube, with just 3 days on the air, the video has about 365,000 dislikes, in addition to accumulating thousands of copypasta comments, which are blocks of text with spammy content used to stifle positive responses, but despite the negative record, the trailer has more likes than dislikes. There are 452,000 positive reactions. The negative reaction to the sequel to Captain Marvel repeats the behavior of trolls, who also boycotted the first film with negative reviews. At the time, they attacked actress Brie Larson for making statements that were considered feminist, a commentary in the trailer quips, Captain Feminist and the Stone of Patriarchy, what crap. It's worth remembering that, despite criticism from the noisy minority, Captain Marvel made $1 billion at the worldwide box office. None of this comes as a surprise to those who are aware of the ongoing trend of criticism bombing aimed at Marvel projects that feature a. female superheroes, b. non-white superheroes, c. LGBTQ superheroes slash characters, or d. some combination of all these. Kylie Chung wrote to feminist website Jezebel, Larson, specifically, has been a source of ire and fury to some male Marvel fans and in cell forums due to her outspokenness about gender parity in the entertainment industry, he added. Brie Larson returns in the Marvels with her role as Carol Danvers, in the plot, Captain Marvel regained her identity from Kree tyranny and took revenge on the supreme intelligence, but the consequences of this leave Carol to carry the burden of a destabilized universe. In addition to Larson, the cast also highlights Aman Vellani, M.S. Marvel, as Kamala Khan, Taona Paris, WandaVision, as Monica Rambeau and Samuel L. Jackson, Avengers, as Nick Fury, the film opens on November